In this video, we provide an overview of how to configure an external KMS server which is used for encrypting and decrypting data. Net Backup uses the Key Management Service KMS, to manage the keys for data encryption while storing data. With Net Backup 8.3 or later, in addition to Net Backup KMS, you can use an external KMS service that supports key management interoperability protocol and is listed in the Net Backup compatibility lists. The backup images are encrypted using the keys that the external KMS server provides. KMS works for encryption of advanced disk, cloud, cloud catalyst, MSDP cloud, encryption capable tape drives and some other types of storage as well. Please note the net backup versions prior to 8.3 will support only internal net backup KMS. Net backup supports the following KMIP versions. By default, net backup uses the highest version of KMIP that the external KMS supports. PAM formatted certificates are used for authentication with an external KMS server. See the link in the description for a list of supported KMS vendors. You can configure an external KMS server for net backup in these simple steps. From the master server, run pre-configuration validation checks for the EKMS server, configure the credentials that NetBackup uses to authenticate the external KMS server. Configure the KMS to work with NetBackup. Create keys in the KMS. Check status of the external KMS servers. Configure how NetBackup uses the keys to manage storage. Configure policy. To ensure fail-safe connectivity of the EKMS server with Net Backup, you need to carry out certain validation checks on the master server, before you can configure the connection. To do this, navigate to the admin CMD directory, and open a command prompt terminal from there. Run the following command in the command prompt. In this step, you need to configure the credentials that NetBackup uses to authenticate with the KMS server. You need to specify the paths of the certificate file, key store file, trust store file, and passphrase file. Run the following command to configure the EKMS credentials. Now, you can configure the KMS. To configure external KMS server you need to specify name and port of the external KMS server. You can start creating keys in the external KMS. Run this command in the command prompt. You can check status of the newly created KMS server using this command. This command lists all the KMS servers that you have successfully configured for net backup. Run this command in the command prompt. Now, you can log on to the Net Backup console and configure the key usage and storage policies. You can use multiple EKMS servers with Net Backup and assign priorities to the servers. During encryption or decryption, Net Backup first fetches the keys from the server with highest priority. By default, the priority of an EKMS server is set to zero, you can assign a higher number to increase the priority. A higher number means, higher priority. You can assign or update priorities to the EKMS servers using the command prompt. You can change priorities of the EKMS servers using the priority option. For detailed information on configuring an EKMS server, visit our support site, and refer to the Veritas Net Backup Security and Encryption Guide.